Hello class, uh, I would like to talk about trigonometry and similarity between triangle. Many of you email me of how you can do them. Now when I would just go over basics of triangles, a triangle has three sides and then has three angles. The summation of three angles are 180 degrees. As you can see here, A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. If you have something with four sides, it has obviously four angles. The summation of the angles will be 300. 60 degrees. Now, in similarity between triangles, we need to consider one thing. The fact is that the angle has to be the same on both sides. So, in this example, I have two triangles ABC and A, A prime, B prime, C prime. If A is equal to A prime, B is equal to B prime, and C is equal to C prime, I can say two triangles are similar. Now, when two triangles are similar, the ratio of the sides will be the same. But the ratio of what side? That's where it comes into that you need to look into what angles are the same and consider those ratios. So in this example, A is equal to A prime. So I'm looking into who is opposite to A in, a, in triangle ABC, which is BC. Moving on to the other triangle, who is opposite to A prime, which is B prime, C prime. Everything in numerator belongs to triangle ABC everything in numerator belongs to triangle A prime B prime C prime now you can continue and then go on with that so talking a little bit about trigonometry so in this course we talk about mainly related to trigonometry related to right triangle so if you have right triangle and then you have here angle A you can see the side so let's look at if the angle A is here the side which is opposite to A, we call that opposite. The side which is adjacent, we call it adjacent. And then the bigger side, we call it hypotenuse. Now we already know from Pythagorean, if this is if this is A, this is B, and this is C, you can say A prime, A, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We know that it's from Pythagorean. But we want to talk about a slightly something different today. So we want to talk about the ratio of the triangle. So in, in the side of the triangle, there is a ratio. We call them trigonometric ratio. First one is sine. The next one is cosine. And last one is tangent. So sine relating the opposite side with the hypotenuse. Now, if the opposite side and hypotenuse, uh, if, the, the, if the angle become very small, you would see the, the opposite become very small, and then the hypotenuse become large then you can you can talk about cosine of a which is ad the ratio between adjacent to hypotenuse and tangent relating opposite to adjacent just consider a very very narrow triangle in a very narrow triangle the opposites become so small that you can see the tangent and the sine they become very small they become almost zero because uh, if you look into the equation you have opposite and adjacent and opposite on the, on the numerator for both sine and, and a. So if those two goes to zero, the result will be zero. Similarly, when, when the angle become 90 degrees, which is impossible in, in a triangle, we have angle of 90 degrees, we can go close to 90 degrees. Now, if you go close to 90 degrees, you would see the hypotenuse and opposite, they become almost the same, like a very narrow triangle. I can't say very narrow triangle, but the triangle will be something look like this so the side of here is already 90 degree and then you're making this angle very much 90 degree now you can see a triangle that they are the opposite and then your hypotenuse they become the same so that's why when you go to 90 degree the sign become one tangent become infinity because you, you don't have much left with the adjacent or I can say adjacent in, in comparison with hypotenuse become just so much negligible and cosine of 90 degrees, zero. So let's just start solving some of the problems. So I selected some of them and I and I solved them for you. So part A, uh, before I begin with part A, I, I just know that if I have two ang two sides, two, I can say two lines, which are collinear, any angle between them, they become 180 degrees. So alpha plus beta in this example is 180 degrees. If you have two lines, the two lines are parallel, then you have another line intersecting with that that create four angles that are the same 
angle alpha here with the angle alpha here is the same because they are equal and opposite the same thing here they make a z that's why these two angles are the same in part a one of the angle is given as 130 so obviously the other angle will be 50 to make up 180 and the answer is 50 because if this one here is 50 up there at a is 50 as well I'm going to solve part D too. In part D, we have four angles A, B, C, D. The summation of these four angles become 360 degree. Now, the angle A, which is X, angle B is X minus 30, angle C, X minus 40, and angle D is X. Just you can add them together, then count the X 1, 2, 3, 4, X minus, minus 30 here, minus 40 here, become minus 70. Then you can add to both sides a 70 that you get 430 here and you can solve for for x i've selected one more problem in part b in part b the question asks you to find to solve for x now you can see the angle here is 180 minus 3x because these two angles they make to 180. now if this is 180 minus 3x you can see this is also a triangle so this means the two sides are the same and you can see the dashed line on there so that's why the other angle will be 180 minus 3x now you can put them together and then solve for x so the top angle is 2x minus 10 the other angle is 180 minus 3x and then plus 180 minus 3x the summation of this is 180 now you can count the x you have 2 here minus 3 here minus 3 here so summation of x is minus 4x and then the values is, is minus 10, 180, and 180, which is make to 350 is equal to 180. You can subtract from both sides 170 or subtract 350 from both sides. Then you got minus 350 from both sides. Then you got minus 4x minus 170. Then x is equal to 170 over 4. In, in the third part, we want to solve for side x in the first triangle. In the first triangle, side x we can use angle 50 and then we know side x is opposite the hypotenuse is given as 90 so the relationship between opposite and hypotenuse as we discussed before was sine so sine of 50 is x over 90 then you can solve for x in part b i have selected 39 degree as the angle a so who is opposite to this guy is 30 degrees so 30 centimeter this is the opposite and then I have the adjacent as the x and the relationship between these two is tangent we already know that tangent of a is equal to opposite over adjacent so that's what I have done here sine of a is equal to 30 over x and then or you can say the, the a which is what 39 degrees tangent of 39 degree you just do a cross, multi cross multiply them is equal to 30 from here you can find the x as for the fourth problem related to similarity between triangle I've selected number one problem so it, the only thing in this problem is that making sure the two triangles that you have selected they are similar means that they have the same angle so I've, I have selected the small triangle triangle ABC and then the big triangle which is triangle ADE so these two are similar because angle A and A is the same angle B and B obviously are the same they are making they are 90 degrees and angle C and E are the same and the two angles are the same the third angle obviously will be the same now in sort of the sides so I'm looking into when I say A A in ABC who is across or opposite to A from ABC which is side BC now the other one in the bigger triangle triangle ADE the opposite to angle A is the length D you can repeat the same thing for the next triangle this is AC which is across from B and AE is across from D remember that everything that we have in the upper row in the numerator all these values are for triangle ABC and everything down here in the denominator for triangle ADE now the the sides are given bc is given as 12 d is given as 18 and then we don't have ac and and, and de but we have ab and d which is ab given as 16 
and AD is given as X we want to solve for X then you can cross multiply and then you get X as 24 so I've solved part D as well in part D we need to find what triangles are similar um, what I found I found that the triangle uh, BDC is the same as triangle ABC so ABC is the large triangle the whole triangle and then we're solving actually for this part the angle C is the same on both angle B is the same as A and angle D is the same as B D is 90 degrees here and D over there is B is over there is 90 degrees as well okay let's talk about um, okay let's talk about how can we find the ratios in, in this problem so you look, you look into the first triangle C is equal to C so the in the small triangle triangle who is a who is across from C across from C is length X which is DB so this guy is DB which is X now across from C in the bigger triangle which is AB and the value for AB is 12 looking to the second relationship who is across from B in the small triangle so this is a small triangle across from it will be DC now who is across from A in the bigger triangle across from A in the bigger triangle is length BC and we have length BC has given us 16 the last two relationship is related to D and B so who is across from D in the small triangle which is 16 that's BC and then in the bigger triangle who is across from B which is AC now you can set up the relationship I'm going to use the first one and last one so I have X over 12 equals to 16 over 20 then you can cross multiply and solve for X which is 9.6 thank you very much for listening